Hello everyone, my name is Donald Castle and I'm a candidate for Councilor at Large. When I am elected this year, I will be a full-time city councilor. I promise to answer your phone calls and emails immediately and work tirelessly to address your concerns. I want to start off today by saying thank you to everyone here at Lynn Community TV that took the time to help all the candidates in this year's election to make these videos. This is a great public service to the city of Lynn. I also want to say hello to all the voters and residents of Lynn that are watching. I never anticipated being a candidate for Council at Large in 2023. But on April 5th of this year, we all lost a Lynn legend when Buzzy Barton passed away. I took a couple of weeks to think about whether I should run for Council at Large because I always wanted to serve on the Lynn City Council. I decided to run after speaking with my family and friends. I will promise everyone today that no one will work harder than me in this year's election to earn your vote. As I campaign around our great city, many people say to me, oh, you're running for Buzzy's seat. I just want to say that I am not running for Buzzy's seat. No one can take Buzzy Barton's place and no one can take Buzzy Barton's seat. I officially retired at the end of January after 36 years of public service. I'm a very fortunate person to have met and worked with so many great people over the course of my career as a public servant. I served as vice president of my union representing over 600 members. My fellow union leaders and I negotiated for fair and decent wages and good health care for our members. I also saw firsthand what the opiate, opiate epidemic has done to our families, our neighbors, and friends. I cannot stress enough how important it is to have on-demand treatment for those in need in our city. I had the opportunity recently to attend the grand opening of a new drop-in center operated by Spectrum Health in downtown Lynn to help those in need. We need to ensure we are doing everything we can to fight the opiate epidemic on the front lines here in our city of Lynn. I finished my career at Lynn City Hall as the opera compliance officer. I worked under the direction of our CFO. Working at Lynn City Hall really showed me how hard our city workers work and those in City Hall are dedicated to making our city a better place to live. Mayor Nicholson and the current City Council have made great strides in making City Hall more accessible to all our residents in Lynn. I want to continue this progress by ensuring equal and easy access to our local government and its services. I also quickly learned that we must always keep an eye on our budget. Everything that we as a city and as elected officials want to do costs money. While we have made some forward progress recently, I will be laser focused on making the business of the city about business. We have to do everything possible to attract more businesses to our great city any way we can. We have to be creative and think outside the box. Since announcing my candidacy to be a full-time counselor at large, I have passed out thousands of nail files, palm cards, and I've knocked on hundreds of doors. I have visited our 18 public elementary schools, our two private elementary schools, and our three middle schools in an effort to speak with parents, teachers, and principals about their concerns. The size of our classrooms and replacing our antiquated schools are the most important issues that were mentioned to me. These issues are not new, but decades old. I support building new schools, including a new Pickering, and doing everything possible to reduce classroom sizes. We need to ensure we attract new teachers to our city and do everything possible to retain them. I also heard many other concerns from people throughout our city, including clean streets, parking issues, speeding, clean and safe, clean and safe playgrounds, and parks, fixing our aging roads, sidewalks, crosswalks, and curbs as well. We need to make sure our seniors are safe when crossing the streets to go to the grocery store. These are all neighborhood quality of life issues. Our DPW is doing a great job with the resources available, but we need to ensure they have the equipment and the staffing they need. We also need to ensure our police and fire departments are fully funded and provide them the resources they need. I had the opportunity to travel to Boston recently to see firsthand their 311 system. This is a system where residents call 311 on their home or cell phones to report a neighborhood issue. When you call, you receive a ticket number to track your resolution to its end. I want to explore implementing a program like this in our city. A program like this would be particularly helpful to our seniors. As part of the neighborhood quality of life issues, I would propose bringing all our neighborhoods together at a citywide summit to talk about how we as a city can come together and address our concerns collectively. Since announcing for Council at Large, the foundation of my campaign has been about respecting each other by listening and not immediately judging one another. The contempt and disdain at our national level has unfortunately made its way to the local level. 
We need to expand the public debate with robust and respectful dialogue. We need to understand that it's okay to disagree and still be friends and neighbors. The word compromise has somehow become a negative word, and we need to change that. In closing, I will continue to campaign throughout our great city to become your full-time counselor at large. I love Lynn. My cell number is 781-589-0694. Or please visit my websites, Facebook page, or Instagram. I ask you for your vote on September 5th and November 7th. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jose Encarnacion, a resident of this now welcoming and wonderful city of Lynn since 1983. The truth is that when we arrived, it was not what it is today. I am the seventh of 13 siblings and the proud father of six children, two of them with my wife, partner, and best friend, Yesenia Quinones. Both I and my entire family, since our arrival in this city, have been humbly contributing to its strength as a welcoming, diverse, working class and middle class community. Rincón Macorizano, restaurant, Palace Auto Music, and Oasis Beauty Supply businesses established in the 90s are a sign of our firm confidence in the place we chose to live, a motivation for other entrepreneurs of the time immigrants and locals alike. In recent years, the Hispanic community has grown significantly in this city. Just look around us. Thousands of Hispanics live and work here in Lynn. We have businesses here that are grounded in the community and pay our taxes religiously. We are a critical part of the engine of the economy of the city. However, up to now, we do not have a voice that represents us at the table where the important decisions of this city are made. I firmly believe that in the primary election this coming September 5th in the, and the finals November 7th for the Municipal Council of the City of Lynn, we have a great opportunity to reach a seat in that important body. For that reason, I humbly and respectfully request your support for our candidacy for Lynn City Council at large. Please give me one of your four vo votes. However, it is not only the Hispanic community whose voices I will fight to bring to the table in Lynn. I vote to, to stand up for working class people and immigrants of all backgrounds on the issues that matter, and to collaborate with other elected council, with leaders from other communities here in Lynn to make this a, reali a reality. Be assured that together, holding hands with God, we can work to make Lynn a better place to live, work, and raise our children. This is our home, the city that we love, that I love, the city that has given me so much and for which I am and will be forever grateful. It is for this reason that I am firmly committed, committed to using all my experience of more than 20 years in public service to help the city of Lynn continue to grow as a city of opportunity for all. As a member of the city of Lynn, I promise to dedicate my best efforts across the board, but in three areas in particular that I understand that are vital. Affordable housing, making sure we can all have safe, clean, secure places to live, and that we will not be forced out of our city by the rising cost of housing. Two, button up economic growth fighting for more sustainable, good-paying, dignified jobs that are accessible to our diverse communities and supporting our existing small businesses that make our city special. Three, community-driven public safety, 
making sure that our neighborhoods, and that means all our neighborhoods, are safe while ensuring we move away from approaches that are harming our black and brown communities. Give me the chance to be your voice at the city council, and we will make this happen together. And to, my, and to the um, Spanish community, something in Spanish, um, tenemos una gran oportunidad el septiembre 5 en la primaria y noviembre 7 en las finales. Tenemos una gran oportunidad de coger un, conce un concejal que te represente, que tú tengas una voz, que, te en, que tengamos un concejal que pueda representar tus intereses, un concejal que va a estar respondiéndote siempre, que va a estar ahí para, para ti. Por eso sal y vota septiembre 5 en las primarias y noviembre 7 en las finales. No desaproveche esta, esta gran oportunidad que tenemos de tener representación a nivel del City Hall. Ayúdame para poder ayudarte. Help me so we can, help me so I can, we can, I can help you. Please vote September 5th in the primary and November 7th in the final to help the city of Lincoln continue to grow as a city of opportunity for all. Juntos podemos. Together we can. My name is Brian LaPierre, and I am honored and privileged to serve as one of your four Council at Lodge representatives on the Lynn City Council. Lynn means everything to me. I've spent my life working to make it a better place. Born and raised in Lynn, son to my mother, a now retired Hood School secretary, and my father, a Vietnam veteran, both of whom have also spent their entire lives here in Lynn. I spent years teaching in the Lynn Public Schools, where I also met my wife, Kelly, an English language arts department head at Pickering Middle School, and the daughter of two more longtime Linners. We have two terrific sons who proudly attend the Lynn Public Schools. I am invested in my city and involved in my community. I have donated much needed financial support to countless Lynn organizations over the years and will continue to support these worthwhile youth and civic organizations as they continue to highlight the strong work that is needed in our community. I'm running once again to build on the momentum we have in the city right now, offering what is now an experienced voice of leadership on the council. I have a unique perspective on the important issues facing our city right now. I continue to focus on listening and learning from residents from across our city. I pride myself on hands-on, first-class constituent service. We emerged out of the COVID-19 pandemic and we went right to work by establishing Lynn's first senior center on Friend Street. It is a warm and engaging place where our elders can gather and have some fun. We also conducted a comprehensive and equitable process on how to disseminate the American Rescue Act, OPER money, that is going to vastly improve our parks and playgrounds across the city and help with our housing shortages and skyrocketing rents. I am a strong believer in responsible development in our city, as illustrated by over $3 million that have been returned to our city tax rolls by way of selling dilapidated and blighted public properties. Renovations through private investment is occurring as well. Like our state-of-the-art Demarcus Metro North YMCA, Boys and Go Girls Club of Lynn, and so many more are investing in our people and our city. Lynn is on the move, and I am pleased to be a very small part of its recent success. Priorities for this election are simple. Return my calls, listen, learn, and lead from you. Work with colleagues to continue to make Lynn a better place to live, work, and raise a family. As we are now in our strongest financial position since I came on the council in 2016, it is remarkable the budget strides that we have made under Mayor Nicholson and working closely with him 
to be able to do the things that really matter to Linners. I am proud to have supported the city of Lynn's historic first diversity, equity, inclusion officer, created and expanded our new planning department to three this year. My colleagues and I passed the Housing Lynn Production Plan and inclusionary zoning so that future development in Lynn now has a shared goal of striking the balance of new tax growth with community benefit needs as well. Our work is not done yet, and I still have the passion and the energy to serve our great city in this capacity. I want to see over the next two years smart growth from private investment on our Linway, building upon the return of the Lynn Ferry, a firm commitment to continue the construction for a new Pickering Middle School, and take steps toward refurbishing and renovating our most needed fire stations across the city. We can accomplish much as a city if we remain committed and work as a team. I respectfully ask for one of your four votes for Councilor at Large on Tuesday, September 5th, and again on November 7th, 2023. Thanks to you for listening today and to Lynn Community Television for their election 2023 coverage and for allowing me this platform to speak to all of you. Thank you. My name is Nicole McLean. I am one of your four counselors at large in the city of Lynn running for re-election. It has been an honor and humbling experience to accept the remainder of Buzzy Barton's term in office. And I am definitely ready to serve the city with the dedication that Buzzy did. When I ran for office in 2021, I ran to bring the voice of the BIPOC community to the decision-making table. Bringing that voice will not diminish any other voice. It will only ensure that all of our residents are being served. I ran in 2021 to better serve our seniors. The city has begun giving our seniors the services they need, and I intend to support them in their various initiatives to include addressing the traffic issues in our city. Serving our veterans and youth is also a part of my agenda. Our veterans department is underfunded, and our youth need more resources to achieve in life and transition to adulthood. Housing options in our city are overpriced and scarce. My plan is to support the current solutions such as zoning reform and the housing trust that has been established to fund inclusive housing. My willingness to dig for and find resources is an attribute that I will bring to the city council. My willingness to collaborate with community organizations and stakeholders to make more informed decisions is an attribute that I will bring to local politics. I was born in this city and have a huge commitment to my hometown. I am a graduate of Lintec, a veteran, and I am currently pursuing my master's degree in educational leadership and policy at Boston College. The commitment I have to this city is shown through the many boards I serve on and the boards I serve on will also give you insight to what matters most to me. I am a commissioner on the Essex County Commission on the Status of Women, which empowers women and does outreach to make sure the women in Essex County are empowered. I serve on the Metropolitan Beaches Commission, a commission that ensures the beaches in the Commonwealth are safe and welcoming to all residents. I am a member of the Disabled Veterans of America. I am newly appointed to the Children's Law Center of Massachusetts Board. I also serve as a board member for the Karen Hill Nature Preschool here in Lynn. I am a mother, wife, and your neighbor. There is great work being done under our current administration. Put me to work to add to that progress. Vote for me, Nicole McLean, on September 5th and November 7th. As residents, you need to know there is someone in office that is willing to represent you well. Visit my website to learn more about my platform, volunteer, and donate. 
NicoleForLynn.com. Thank you. Good evening. First, I would like to thank the LCTV for making this video highlighting candidate profile. For those who don't know me, my name is Hong Net, and it has been an honor to represent you as a counselor at large for the past 12 years, and to proudly serve alongside other dedicated leaders and residents of our great city. I have proven that I put my beliefs into action. I am a fair advocate with a proven ability to build consensus. I have 30 years experience in social work, education, and government leadership here in the United States and internationally. I work with a human rights organization through the United Nations, established a language school, author a book, and a child support enforcement specialist at the Department of Revenue. During my terms as counselor at large, I have had the honor of addressing a wide variety of individual concerns of residents throughout the whole city. I have been able to help grow the city economy and strengthen local businesses. As the chairman of the Ways and Means, my committee and I have tackled tough policy and budgeting decisions for the benefit of all our residents. As the chairman of the public property, my committee and I work with the YMCA and the city and state officials to bring a new YMCA to Lynn. Also, for the first time ever, I work with the law department and assessor's office to build city-owned properties out to a public bid. As a chairman of the ad hoc, my committee and I work with the elections office to relocate voting stations throughout the city to make it more convenient for our voters. I will continue to advocate for every available dollar for the safety of our residents and the men and women of our police and fire departments. I strongly believe that without public safety, there will be no businesses, therefore, Public safety and economic development go hand in hand. They are the lifelines of our city. I remain committed to work with everyone for the continued revitalization of our city and will work to ensure that our voices are included as we move together toward a common vision for Lynn. I am humbled to ask you to allow me to continue working on your behalf on projects that aim at building a more inclusive city. Tonight, I ask everyone to please don't forget to vote on Tuesday, November 7th, and consider me for one of your four votes as counselor at large to allow me to continue to work on your behalf. Thank you so much for watching.